Can you tell us about um, what police discovered this morning? Yes, at one thirty-six this morning, uh, the Queensland Ambulance Service received a phone call from uh, a person who was reporting an, an unconscious woman in a bus shelter um, near the Camaranga Old Smithfield Road intersection. The uh, ambulance subsequently attended and transported the woman to hospital. Now that woman is in a very serious condition and um, her prognosis is poor. Now um, it appears as though the circumstances of um, this woman's condition are suspicious and um, we have um, established a major incident room to investigate the circumstances surrounding this uh, um, apparent assault of the uh, of the victim. Now we are having difficulties at the moment identifying the woman. Uh, we are unaware of who she is. She has no identification um, or anything on her that um, has assisted the identification today. So we are requesting assistance from the community to um, hope, help us identify the person, this person. Um, also we wish to identify the person who was driving past and reported the incident. That appears to be an a older male who um, advised he was on his way from home from work and um, has checked on the, on the person's welfare and has reported it to the ambulance service. We don't know who that person is. Now, he called from the nearby phone booth, is that correct? That's right. The, the person um, made a phone call from a, pub, a public phone uh, near the Freshwater Connection um, railway station. Um, now, the call was terminated and um, subsequently the ambulance services attended and, and found the woman who was, who was alone. Now, this woman is described as a Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander woman. She appears to be about 25 years of age, but maybe younger, maybe slightly older. She's of normal build and height with um, what's possibly shoulder length black hair. Um, now, what she was wearing was a highly distinctive T-shirt, which... Um, has in large letters the word the words love is the new drug now we believe the t-shirt is going to be a um, certainly a, a large prompt to someone's memory and and, and a will we believe largely assist in um, identifying the woman but um, we've conducted a door knock today within the in area out of freshwater and um, to date no information has been um, elicited to assist the investigation or the person's identity. What makes you think she was assaulted? Well, she the, she has an injury to to her face which and um, subsequent brain injuries, which certainly indicates that is a, a possibility. It doesn't appear to be any other form of misadventure. There's no other associated injuries, so it, appears, it appears at this stage, uh, in the early stage of the investigation, that it is the product of some form of assault. Now, where that assault occurs, we don't don't know. It hasn't necessarily occurred in the bus shelter where she was located. Is there any chance she's fallen over or been hit by a car? Look, certainly we would discount being struck by a vehicle because we'd ex expect larger, more extensive injuries. Um, falling over is a possibility, but again, there's nothing that, no abrasions or anything with that in conjunction with the injury which would suggest that. So, um, and the way she was seated in the bus shelter suggests that maybe she was more placed there. But there's a whole series of assumptions you could make, but how presently she, we don't know. How was she seated upright? Or? No, we believe she was seated um, on, the, on the concrete and slumped against the, against the seat. Um, obviously, that's why we would like to speak to this person who first came across her prior to the ambulance to see how she was when, she, when he found her. Is it suspicious yeah. that, I mean, maybe, I don't know, he was driving by, he could have had a mobile or whatnot, is it suspicious that he went to a payphone to call? Oh, well, look, who, who knows? He, you know, not everyone in the community has a, has a, has a mobile phone. Um, but the fact that maybe he didn't want to be identified? Oh, look, it's, it's pure speculation. We don't know. Um, certainly, he's on, it, it appears to be on the face of it. He's done the right thing. Um, certainly, I've listened to the call. And it sounds like someone genuinely concerned for the welfare um, of um, this person. But, but obviously, we need to speak to identify that, that person. So the information they provided with the ambulance is that they were driving home from work and they have um, saw the person slumped in the uh, bus shelter.
give us a, a detailed description. I know you already have, but another one about the T-shirt and the colours of the writing and the colour of the top. Well, I will have an image of the shirt, which I will show to you. But um, the, the, the T-shirt, it's a black T-shirt. It's a, it's a Girl Express brand, which is sold from Kmart. And um, it is in multi-colours. And, but it's it's very large, very prominent on the front of the shirt. She was wearing black shorts, and when found, she there's no footwear. So it's possible that she lives relatively close to the within the in the freshwater area environs. And that. There's no suspicion she was dumped at the police. Well, look, it's, that that's a possibility. Um, there are there is limited um, other evidence of blood loss within the environment, which, which suggests possibly it has occurred elsewhere. Um, but again, until we identify this person, it's difficult to um, move, progress the investigation. The door yeah. knocking around, how shocked mm. have um, residents been to hear of this? Oh, well look, um, they're, they're concerned. Um, obviously it's not that far from the Maria Ball um, murder site. So, um, so yes, it's... Um, yeah, it's obviously shocking. And, is there a um, warning at all to, to residents? I mean, walking early in the morning or well, being out? So well, look, look, no. Until we know what the circumstances are, um, it's it's difficult, you know, to um, provide any specific warnings. And some warnings may not be necessary in this circumstance, you know, until the investigation unfolds. We won't know what the circumstances are. Can so you tell me how still, old she is at all? She she appears to be twenty five. That, but that could be a top end. She may well be younger. Um, you know, she appears to have some health issues that she, that, um, you know, she, she may be itinerant, um, but that's entirely speculative. Um, you know, she, so, um, so yeah, so at the moment we're just looking for public assistance. Have a, have a look at this T-shirt. Um, and, um, and, cer and certainly it, it's... This, this person now has, it, you know, it's going on for quite some period of time since she would have been home or people would have interacted with her. So if, if you have concerns for a family member who has not been home that she would have normally expect to be home, contact us. And you say she's still unconscious, mm. so... Well, she still is unconscious, that's right. The prog prognosis for this woman is very poor. Is she likely to be flown to Townsville or is it...? No, she's staying here. Mm. How frustrating is it if, if she doesn't pull through? Is it a possibility? Oh, well, the prognosis for this woman is very poor. So hence we're trying to contact family to get in contact with the hospital as soon as possible and, and for that aspect of it, just the general welfare of the family and, um, and to allow them to contact the victim of this offence. Apart from her uh, facial mm. injuries, was she assaulted in any other way? No, no. Well, there's, 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 there's no other associated injuries that we're aware of presently. Yeah. It, is, it appears to be a relatively small number of blows that is possibly... If, if that is the cause of this event, but certainly at the moment that's what it appears to be. So more than one injury? No, it doesn't appear to be. It appears to be, it appears to be a limited injury, which would imply it's, 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 a, it's a limited assault. If, if, if in fact an assault is the cause of this injury at the end of the day, but at the moment that's, that, that's an inference we're making. Would it appear that a weapon perhaps was used? No, look, I don't believe so at the moment, no. What else could be the cause then? I mean, if if it wasn't an assault. Well, it'd be difficult. I would have if if it was an accident. I would have thought there'd be other associated injuries that would have provided some indication of that. A fall you would normally have other abrasions, other injuries, but this doesn't. Um, so, so at this stage, we're progressing the investigation on the basis that the injury has been inflicted through an assault where that has occurred and in what circumstances, we have no idea. Mm. How long was she waiting at the shelter before she was found? Is there any indication of that? Well, no idea. Um, we, What we do know is this was found in at 136. Um, Camaronga Road is a road that is quite heavily frequented, trafficked even at that stage of the night. So what we request is um, anyone who may have um, particularly probably been travelling along Camaronga Road between midnight and 1.30, um, they may well have noticed this person there and simply ignored them, um, or just assumed so that they were okay. So you think they an were hour okay. and a half, she could have been left there for? We have no idea. Okay. All we know is that the woman was there at 1.30. Um, 
how long she was there for. Prior to that, we have no idea. So, what we would what we would be requesting is anyone who had travelled along Camaronga Road past that point, um, if they did or didn't notice anything, we'd ask them to come forward. You know, absolutely nothing on her, no keys or anything. There's no property, no. No, it's just that merely the, the dark pair of shorts she was wearing, the t-shirt. Is that frustrating for you? Well, it's difficult. It's at, at the moment the investigation can't can't really progress until such time as we identify. Once we once we identify, well, then obviously the investigation will unfold from that point. But um, certainly, it um, does not appear as though the assault necessarily has originated in that location. It may have. In but, view of that, mm. are you asking anyone who's heard a, a serious argument or a domestic in that area mm. to come? To come That's to right. There? there could have been a precursor argument. Within, within freshwater, um, you know, Stratford, anywhere. Um, it, the extent of the injury is possibly unlikely the, the person, the victim, is going to travel too far on foot. Um, one would have think it'd be quite debilitating injury quite quickly. Um, so, so yeah. So look, anyone who was travelling along Camarunga Road <coughs> last night, probably, you know, from from midnight to one thirty is a critical stage, even earlier. You know, they, may, they may have noticed this person within the bus shelter. What about the bus itself? Um, what time's the last um, bus arrived? Oh, look, I've no idea. We haven't made those inquiries, but certainly it'd be nine, ten o'clock. It'd be the latest, I would have thought. Yeah. Yeah. How does this? How do you feel about this? I mean, is it odd? I mean, how does this sort of range with other cases? Oh, look, um, we've had other cases where we've had victims who have assaulted. Usually, we identify them rather quickly, um, but today we haven't. Um, we've conducted. We we have received. We are canvas. We have canvassed the community, um, and we have had a number of names. But we've eliminated those names and established the persons who have been nominated as safe and well. So, um, so, yeah. so presently, we are frustrated. So, so we need to um, get this, particularly the T-shirt, as broadcast as broadly as we can, and hopefully that will jog someone's memory. Just while we're here, is there anything you can update us on Declan Crouch? No, look, the major incident room continues. Um, the investigation remains the same. We we conducted further searches on the um, western side of Machin's Beach yesterday. Uh, they did not reveal anything of any consequence. Um, the investigation continues. There's been no particular developments. Um, you know. <coughs> there are a few groups of itinerants who live around the area. Have you been able to speak to any of the groups? No, well, at the moment they aren't there. The weather there. hasn't been conducive okay. to it. They, they normally right. camp around freshwater, but the weather they don't. They haven't been down there.